Hi, welcome back to Sabir Cat. This is a second video of a two-part video which deals with features of Brix Cat not available in AutoCAD. If you have missed the first part, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. So let's get started. In AutoCAD, I have opened a plan of a parking lot of a building. In this drawing, the parking positions of individual cars are shown. In this, there are three different types of cars. I'll just zoom into a car and when you click on the entities, you can see that it's made up of several entities. And I'll press Ctrl 1 to get the properties palette. There are altogether 86 entities in this car. Likewise, each car is made up of a number of entities. The various information about these entities actually contributes to the file size. Let's check the file size of this drawing. The file size is 358 kilobytes. The best practice to reduce the file size is to convert these 86 entities in this car into a single block. Likewise, you can convert each car into blocks. In such a scenario, in AutoCAD, you have to create a block from these cars using the block command. Then we have to insert at respective locations and erase these cars which are originally existing. I have opened the same drawing in BricsCAD. Over here, I'll click on the Insert tab and I'll click on Blockify command in the Blocks panel. This command looks the drawing for repeated geometry and converts instances of the geometry into blocks. So I'll click on Blockify. Now I'm asked to select the source entities. I'll select the entities in this car using a window. Then I'll give an enter. Now I'm asked to specify an insertion point. I'll pick this point as the insertion point. Now I'm supposed to specify the search space, which can be an entire drawing or a selected region. I'll click on entire drawing. Now the software searches the entire drawing for similar geometry and it has found 40 matches. Now I am asked to specify a block name. I'll call this block as car1 and give an enter. Now when I click on this car, I can see that it's a single object or it is converted as a block. And all such similar geometry is converted to blocks. So let's select all this geometry in one go. I'll hover the cursor on this car and I'll hover on the select option in the quad menu. Then I'll click on select similar option. Now you can see that all the 40 cars are selected. Using the same procedure, I have converted the second and third type of cars into blocks. Now I'll save the drawing file and check the file size. You can see that it's 68 kilobytes. Hence, there is a tremendous reduction in file size when you apply Blockify command to convert repeated geometry into blocks. And this feature is unique to BricsCAD. Sometimes we get inaccurate drawings from raster to vector conversion through scanning, from point clouds, as well as by manually drawing over an image. And these drawings are to be corrected and optimized. This is a typical example of one of such drawings. In AutoCAD, the only solution is to keep this drawing in a particular layer. Then you can create another layer and trace all these lines using the line command on that layer. So it is more of a manual work. This is one of such drawing which is created in BricsCAD by tracing over an existing image using the line command. I'm going to correct this drawing using the Optimize tool in BricsCAD. So I'll click on Manage tab and I'll click on Optimize tool in the Drawing Optimizations panel. Or else you can give Optimize command using the keyboard. This command invokes Optimize panel and here you will get options to choose from 2D to 3D but presently we have only 2D entities so this is disabled. Then you can select entities from the drawing using this arrow cursor or else you can select the entire drawing and that is enabled. 
I want to close the gaps and round coordinates. So these two options should be active. Then you can choose the reference angle as horizontal, vertical and diagonal because I want to optimize in all these directions. Then you can specify tolerance values. Angle tolerance is set at 5. That means any line with an inclination less than 5 degrees will be corrected. Now distance tolerancing is applicable to parallel entities. In this case, it is applicable to these two lines and the value is set at 1. Let's check the distance between these two lines. I'll select these two lines. Now you can see that it is 0.38. So you should give a value which is above 0.38 for the distance tolerance. I'll go to optimize again. Now you have gap tolerance. This is to fill the gap between two entities. Now in this figure, it is applicable to this area. I'll select these two entities and you can see that the distance is 0.35. So the gap tolerance should be a value above 0.35 and it is set at 1. The round off precision is used to round off the dimensions to the given decimal place. Now I'll click on preview to see the result. Now you can see that all the entities are corrected in one go. The parallel entities are made collinear and the gap is filled and the horizontal and vertical and diagonal lines are perfectly horizontal, vertical and diagonal. Now I'll give OK. Hence, optimize command is a very powerful tool in BricsCAD which will let you correct inaccurate drawings in few seconds. This is a ground floor plan of a family house. I have opened this plan in AutoCAD. Now, I would like to copy this window from this location to this particular wall in the vertical orientation. What you normally do is, you go to copy command and take a copy of this with this midpoint as the base point and I locate it over here with this as a second point. Then you have to execute a rotate command to rotate it with this as a base point and I'll give a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Suppose if I want to flip this window, I have to give a mirror command. I'll select this object then with this mid as the first point on the mirror line and this mid as a second point on the mirror line, I'll flip it. Or else you can block this entire window and you can insert it in this location after rotating it. But in both cases, you should perform cleanup action on the wall. That means when you erase this window, you can still see wall lines in the location of the window. So you have to remove the wall lines using a trim command. So in the process of performing this operation, you have to execute four commands altogether. Now let's open the same drawing in BricsCAD. I would like to copy this three panel window in the bedroom to this location in the stair in the horizontal orientation as well as to this location in the bedroom in the vertical orientation. To do this task, I'm going to make use of a smart feature in BricsCAD. Instead of using copy command, I'm going to use copy guided tool. So I'll click on copy guided. Now I am asked to pick the first corner of the rectangular window. I'll pick the first corner here and the opposite corner here. Now you can see that the wall lines are shown in blue color. These lines will act as guide curves for the copy guided command. And these curves will let you align this object at any desired location while taking a copy. Let's see that. I'll just pick to define the opposite corner point here. Now you can see two arrow marks in both sides. The blue arrows indicate the anchor points and direction of guide curves. The copied entities will only align with the geometry that matches with the number of guide curves and distance between them. For example, if I locate it here, it won't get aligned. Onto this wall, if I try to locate the window, it won't get aligned because the distance between the guide curve is not matching. But once I take it to this location, you can see that the window will get perfectly aligned. Now you can either pick to define the location or you can give a distance at the dynamic entry fields. Now, when I move my mouse vertically up and down, the guide curves will get flipped as a result the selected entities will also get flipped. Now, if I make a pick, the entities will be copied in this orientation. So that's also a built-in feature of copy guided tool. I'll pick to define the location. I'll take the cursor onto this wall and you can see that the window is getting perfectly aligned. 
because the condition is satisfied. By moving the mouse leftward and rightward, I can flip the window as I have done before. Now I'll pick to define the location. Give enter. Now when you erase this window, you can see that the cleaning up action has already taken place. Even over here, the cleaning up action has taken place. Hence, copy guided tool is a replacement for copy, rotate, mirror and trim commands in this contest. And copy guided is a smart feature which is unique to BricsCAD. This completes the tutorial on unique features of BricsCAD not available in AutoCAD.